What's up, folks? It's your boy Bob Hollywood with another exciting review. Today we're going to be reviewing this Funko Magic the Gathering Legacy Collection of Liliana Bess. Um, if you remember, what, two months ago, I did say I was going to be reviewing this figure when I reviewed uh, Jace Bellerin. And now it's, it's time. It might not have been exactly two months ago, but you got that figure review in January. Now it's March. I'm releasing this video for uh, International Women's Month, I believe. So most of the videos this month are going to be women. This video is no exception. If you look at this box, you see Liliana in the packaging. This figure is gorgeous, absolutely stunning. And that's why I bought her. Like, I mean, she was cheap. I bought her from a local Facebook collector. But just looking at her in the packaging, I want this toy, you know. So we're going to get her out eventually. But let's go over the box. In the front of the box, it says Match the Gathering Leg mm, Leg 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 Legacy Collection. It's number five in the series. There are only six figures in the series, as far as I'm aware. I'm um, at the bottom. There's a picture of Liliana with her eyes lit up, as I guess she's a magic user. Um, is there her name, age recommendations, company who makes it. Um, obviously, there's a giant window where you can see Liliana. Excuse me, Liliana. And if you turn the box to the left, it's the same window. You can see her from the side. It still says uh, Legacy Collection. On the right, Magic the Gathering. Another picture of Liliana, her name. Uh, Legacy Collection. When I saw this image, I thought maybe that was something for... Uh, Chase, but apparently it's just for Magic Gathering. You turn it on the back, there's another picture of Liliana. Same picture, but bigger. Eyes are glowing, her hands are glowing. And another design, which I thought was, again, exclusive to Jace, but it's just for the packaging in general. Um, you get Magic the Gathering Legacy Collection again. You get her name again. You get Funko again. You get some information on Wizards of the Coast on the back of the box. Also gives you who else is on the series. Jace Bellerin, who we went over. Derek Wildspeaker, Ayani Goldman, Nisa Ravon, Liliana Bess, who we're about to go over. And Chandra Nalir. Nalar, excuse me. If I pronounce anybody's name wrong, I'm sorry. I do believe I'm pronouncing Jason's name right, and I hope I'm pronouncing Liliana right. Oh, sorry, real quick. The top of the box, more of the same. Magic the Gathering, number five. Bottom, Legalese, and Barco, if that interests you. So, real quick, see 7.5 ounces in the packaging. I am going to pause this camera, and I'll be back with um, her outside of her plastic prison, so we can go over her details. And we are back. She weighs 3.35 ounces outside of the packaging. If you remember back to Jace, uh, his issue with me was his articulation was stiff. Hers to me is I got her legs to go straight as I could, but she's not going to stand because there is warping from the packaging going. And that's not going to be a simple fix with heat. That's going to require heat and cold. But anyway, we'll let that slide for now. We can still get her height. It's just that she won't stand on her own more than likely. Nope, she won't stand on her own, which sucks. But anyway, let's go over her details because there are no accessories. Nothing of hers comes off. So yeah, she doesn't have any accessories. I'll lower my camera for you. Get rid of this for you. And yeah, like I said, I was impressed with this figure inside of the packaging. And uh, so far, I have no reason to be unimpressed with her outside. She looks good. She really does. Um, she's got this headband, this crown sort of thing. It's gold. Looks really good. Matching earrings. she got this gold accent on her shawl, on the shoulder, but it's a different shade of gold. Lots of purples. Different purples, not confusingly different purples. Like, you know they're different. Like, this is more purple. Her chest and her skirt and her boots are purple purple and her shoulders and her sleeves and this side of her skirt and these things that come from her hands are a darker purple and she's got some black in there some silver and most important she's got these skin things on her that to the common eye they'd be tattoos but I don't know the significance of them within the lore of her character because I know nothing about Magic the Gathering. I will tell you that they're sculpted. These are all sculpted lines. So that is pretty cool. On her hands, they're sculpted. Shoulder, chest, face, stomach, leg. They're all sculpted. So that's cool. That is cool. A little paint, paint spots back there on her hair. Some purple on her hair throughout. So I want to say this is probably sculpted in purple, which is weird. No, nothing's flaking. Might have just got some drops on it. And then there looks to be some paint discrepancies on her left butt cheek on her skirt. There is some paint differences down there, but that's intentional. I guess to add some depth and to bring out the detail. 
Her boots are bland. Jace's were the same way. But hers, it looks a little, slightly less offensive. Just because hers aren't as detailed. Well, not as detailed, but his look like two, it would be two different pieces in real life. The pieces that connect her elbows are her flesh color because her she's only single jointed elbows. So her arm is, her lower arm is what the piece is connected to. So that makes sense in this regard. And you can see where her knees are double jointed, they use the purple piece, which other than this right leg, it would have been the same color. But that, that right leg has some uh, black coming up above the knee, whereas the left is longer. My only gripe with this figure is her clothing. As you can see, her uh, her bra sort of thing, her chest thing. If it's not a bra, her shirt. There's another paint discrepancy under that arm. Is on her unevenly, and these are glued on. So her clothing is just kind of jacked up. As you can see, her waist is lined up with her cleavage. But this part is off center. It's not as bad coming from looking down at the top. Looking from the front, it is it is noticeable, unfortunately. I noticed that even in the packaging, but I didn't know at the time that this was glued. Um, yeah, see, I could unglue it. I could force that off, but it's going to mess up things. So, I'm going to just take that loss. That sucks. But she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Even with that, this figure is friggin' beautiful, man. It reminds me of a... And I'm only saying that because my exposure to that character was previous, was prior to this. Saw that character for the first time last year. I'm going to do some research. Actually, I don't know who came first, but I know that character is only like six years old. But it reminds me of Marvel's Shikla. Like, in the overall look, there are differences, obviously, but they just remind me of each other. Again, I don't know who's older, but I know Shikla. This character has to be older. This figure's from like 2012, and Shikla didn't get introduced until 2014. So this character's older. But there's a certain similarity there. Wow, man. She's, this is a pretty figure. Like, look at the face. Like, look at the lips. Like, the lipsticks are pretty good. I almost said you can see. Teeth. Can you see her teeth? Or is her mouth, her mouth is closed? That's just a the reflection from the camera. But she's she's beautiful. I just wish this part was on even, but that's okay. Um, head's gonna be up, and she came apart at the joint, but she's not broken. She's just a really weird joint, and her she's connected, so maybe that's a problem. Woo! They freak somebody out. That'd be hilarious. But that is gonna be an issue. There's nothing keeping it in there, but it's not loose. It's not gonna just come off. And with them being attached, even though this is a very thin connection right here. Just doing it, those three points. That's still entertaining me. Really, just two points. Wow, four points all together. But who let's go over her articulation, which I was just trying to show you that her head was on a double ball joint. It doesn't get much movement because of her hair, but it does go down a bit. But it's not going to look up pretty much at all. No side to side. I mean, it can do it. Her hair is soft enough, but eh, I would say it. Three sixty. She wants to keep coming apart. A uh, little bit of attitude. The only thing is she can't look up. Arms are going to go up. I want to say 90 degrees, but this left arm doesn't want to go up nearly as high as the right arm. Oh, man. Chickless. Mm, chickless. Oh, man. Liliana, stay together. But you can see here, it's capable of it. This arm just doesn't want to cooperate. Rotates at that shoulder. Not going to get the full range of motion just because of how things are connected. Her clothing, meaning this piece that's on her arm is connected to her chest piece. And so it's not going to allow for that full range of motion. Then it's also connected, like I said, to her waist. So she's just not going to go that far. She's not going to happen. She does have a bicep swivel. And the inside of her arms are not marked, unlike her thighs. And um, she has a single joint elbow. She was hoping for the best. It did not break. A little less than 90. And she's got horizontal uh, hinges on her wrist, and her wrists also rotate. And she's much less stiff than Jace was in that regard. As you can see, her waist swivels 360 where the chest meets the abs. She does not go forward or back, and that's because of this stiff-ass ball joint. That thing is super stiff, which is cool. No other waist other than that. Her legs lift this skirt up. Her legs go out that far. Forward that much. Back that much. There's more paint discrepancy. Or plastic discrepancy more there. Um, double jointed knees. Let's see if her left or rather her right is any better. Her coming apart is becoming annoying. Just because she's coming apart when I'm trying to move her. Double jointed knees. Swivels at the thigh. 
I was a little stuff and not not stiff enough to not do it. And then she does have a very for, small forward facing rocker or forward facing pen. And her ankles would be able to pivot more, but her pants leg gets in the way or not pants, but whatever they're called. It's in the way of her articulation in that regard. I'm gonna stand her up against our background so we can try to get her height. She does not want to stand up on her own. She did for a moment when we first started. Let me raise my camera so we can get her height. Six and a quarter, so she's shorter than Jace was. So for her size comparison, so I'm gonna have to obviously lean her against that. We're gonna start with 49. Our Fortnite figures, and she'd get along well with Rhino, who also does not like to stand for me. And Jonesy, who they're comparable in height. I'm, that's good to see because Jace was taller than uh, Rhino. She looks to be taller, but their eyes are almost at level. I'm impressed with this figure, though. Like the articulation could be better in terms of like her clothing not really agreeing with me, letting her move her, but it's there. It's just that her design is that her clothing. Is attached in all those places. There's Piccolo and Colonel Quaridge. Again, she's taller than Piccolo. His, her eyes look at his forehead, but that's because his head is oddly shaped. She almost looks him dead in his eyes if his head was more normal shaped. Then she's taller than Colonel Quaridge, who I believe is my second shortest figure that we compare these folks to over here. Next up is the Captain of America and Duke. The Captain of America, aka Captain America, is taller than her. Duke, just slightly so. Her eye almost meets his. She's a good size height. Like I like it. And up next, normally who we save for last, but today we're gonna give that to someone else. So here she is, the John Jones and Finn. John Jones is taller than her. Finn is shorter than her. Finn looks like a kid, but I love this Finn, and he fits in my action figure world. So I'm not too mad that he's so short. Let's start with figures for you. And then finally, our final comparison. It's one of my favorite figures from last year. Who, yeah, coincidentally, we also reviewed this year. Why not? Zarya and Brie Bella. This is weird. I bought Brie Bella for a very specific reason, and she's not even being used for that. She gets used for reviews. And this young lady that we just reviewed is the shortest of the three. But it happens. Wish I would have thought this ahead and had some like magic users to compare her to. But I don't, unfortunately. I mean, I do. I do. But just the one right now. Typhoid Mary. She's not really a magic user. I believe she has psionic powers and Typhoid Mary is smaller there, which is cool. I don't know if it's because Typhoid Mary is a shorter Marvel legend or a Shikla. Mm, I keep calling her Shikla. Or if Liliana is just taller, but Liliana is taller than Typhoid Mary's figure. Anyway, as for final thoughts, if it wasn't for the lack of mobility just because of her clothing and the fact that my leg came warped and so I couldn't really stand her on her own, which that is a fix. And also she came apart at me and there's no real fix for that other than losing that articulation. She'd be good. They messed up her clothing, her bra piece. The bra piece and the fact that I can't move her arms that much because her clothes are the only downfalls to me for this figure. Permanent downfalls. Like the other side, like the leg can be fixed. The uh, torso isn't so much an issue. But I do like her. I, I, I like her. I said I do like her. I do love her. I like her more than the Jace. She's a good figure. Let's we'll see how she ranks this month. Um, yeah, it's that easy. It's that easy. Um, that helmet part, the face, the head in general is gorgeous. Um, with it being on a double ball joint, it'd be hard for me to get it off to see if it fits on another character, but I'm impressed with this figure. Her hands are a good size, unlike that, uh, Shikla figure who has large hands, which could be a character design and not the flaw of Hasbro who made the figure. All in all, I do enjoy this figure. The tattoos are awesome. The gold accents are awesome. I like the purples, especially the more metallic purple. I'm not gonna keep drawing on and on. I'll let you guys get out of here. Just remember, action figures speak louder than words. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment on this video, let me know what's going on in your mind, how you think I did here. What you want to see me do next? If I can do that, I will. Anyway, guys, take care of yourselves. I love you. Peace.